you have to learn the language of the client. So even the way you speak, even the words you choose to talk to the person may change depending on what level they seem to uh, operate at. So the program also offers a, a linguistic recognition of different stages of consciousness and consciously using yes. the speech. Being and aware, language. again, even that is, we would say, psychoactive now because most people take language for granted. They just use it like a tool. They're not aware how each word they choose actually already frames reality. So that's part of the training because this is a language-based tool. That's a very powerful statement that the way we choose the words, we actually create stages of reality and interpersonal realities. Yes, so their uh, awareness, more awareness of language is really one other piece that comes with this training. The earlier the stage, the more support, the more help, the more even advice, the more steps. And the later the person, the more challenge huh. we, they can offer because later stage persons have more inner resources. Hmm. So we, it's always both. Of course, you always want to celebrate wherever somebody is. Yes. I'm always saying it's tough to be an adult. Hmm. So let's acknowledge the fact that you've made it up to here, wherever that here is. A coach who is at the expert uh, skill centric level, which is about many programs, you know, accept coaches so it makes sense from that. They would they would be the ones who want to stay within the particular theory they learned and apply it correctly. And they will also want to give advice or not give advice even when it's needed because that school says you don't give advice. A later coach, uh, an early post-conventional one, would love to co-create would be a co-creator even when the client is in no way ready to do that. And they then he shouldn't do that. And they may also really believe in equality in a, in a beautiful way and in love as healing all. And again, not realize that with some clients, love is not going to do it. Because they're tough, and they, if you come with that kind of caring attitude, they'll just laugh you right out of your room. <laughs> <laughs> and later, an, an alchemist, magician, very late stage person, really as a coach, you're no longer coaching in some ways. You're really able to adjust to wherever it is, and you're more like a mirror depending on where the person is. You may be giving advice. You may be uh, structured and saying, no, step one, step two, the goal is this. How do you commit to this goal, the conventional coaching? Or, or later, really play with somebody, really challenge them on their uh, assumptions hmm. Hmm. about reality and about like even spiritual aspirations and those kinds of things okay so who's i can't wait to come to hungary and share with you all the wonderful things that developmental theory and especially the leadership maturity framework can offer you to increase both your self-understanding and understanding of all human beings that you encounter.